welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim. Today we're doing a walk around video of our 2013 Toyota RAV4 GX. This video we're going to go around the outside of the car, look at the quality of the vehicle, sit inside, go through some of the features and quality of the interior as well. Now looking at the front of this car, being a 2013 and a blue car, uh, this car does have a few minor stone chips which have been touched up across the front here, but otherwise it presents very, very well. I quite like the way these nice chrome headlights really stand out against the darker blue paint, offset by the harder black plastic towards the bottom, uh, which looks very good. Nice chrome Toyota badge in the middle with the chrome coming like that line just continues across the front of the car and then out over the headlights as well. Down here we do have a spot for some fog lights if you do wish to fit them as well. Moving around now to the uh, first guard, we've got a couple of little stone chips here which have been touched up. We do have a 17 inch alloy rim down here with what appears to be a brand new tyre fitted to it, which is good to see. One thing you won't have to worry about with this car is replacing the tyres anytime soon. Over here we've got a built in side indicator into our mirror, which is a two tone with colour coded on top and the black on the bottom, which is really a theme along the whole side of the car with the chrome strip along the bottom of the windows here with the dark tint, really blends in well with the, the black plastic which we got along the bottom here. Um, the black down here between the two windows and up here we got black with the nice chrome roof rails as well. It would be easy to fit genuine cro uh, crossbars which you can pick up to go across the top there or any other style roof racks which are compatible with that sort of setup. Looking at the side of the car itself, there are very minimal marks, just a couple, little bit of touch up here and color coded door handles as well. Looking at the second wheel, once again, 17 inch alloys with what appears to be a brand new tire and no scuffing on that rim whatsoever. The red rear taillights do come around the side of the car and sort of bend into the groove of the car here, which is very nice styling by Toyota, really consistent across the whole back of the vehicle. We've got color coded rear parking sensors and a tow bar fitted to this vehicle as well. Just under here, we do have the button to release our boot and it comes up very easy and very quick. We do have cargo netting as well as a cargo blind in here to help keep your possessions nice and safe. If we lift up under here, we'll see we do have a big full-size alloy spare tire with our tow bar tongue is actually sitting in here with the tools as well. And nice reinforced base with a bit of plastic styling to make it all come together. There are a few marks in here. A couple of scratches into the plastic. Indicate it has been, obviously it is a used car, it is consistent with the uh, style of vehicle that we do have here and the age as well. So just pulling this down, it closes just as easy as it opened up. Now moving around to the passenger side, we do have our, our fuel filler cap here and then just down here with our third wheel once again, no scuffing on this with a practically brand new tyre. This car is presenting very, very well. It looks to be a very well maintained and looked after vehicle. The paint is in excellent conditions. Aside from those few stone chips and touch ups on the front, it's in pretty awesome condition. Just down here, we've got a practically brand new tyre with once again, no scuffing on that wheel either. So now I'm gonna pop the bonnet and we're gonna have a look at the engine underneath uh, the, the, the bonnet here. And having a look at this engine, pay attention to, to how clean it is and how well this car's been looked after because if it's anything like around the outside of the car, it is gonna present very well. So we lift up the engine here and we got our hook over here to the driver's side and we just pop that in. And just like I suspected, the, under the bonnet, this engine has been very well looked after. It's very clean um, and it just, just presents very well. This is a two litre four cylinder engine, which will produce 107 kilowatts or 187 newton meters of torque. Paired with the seven speed automatic, this is the two wheel drive version of this car. I will make that distinction right now. It is a petrol and it has a 60 litre tank. With an average fuel consumption of 7.4 litres per 100 k's, you can expect to get an average distance of 811 kilometres per tank of fuel. This car is also very safe for those. So it's fuel economic, very well looked after and very safe with a five star ANCAP safety rating and seven airbags. Right now looking at the interior of our car, this, the interior looks to present just as good as the exterior of the car. It's a very well looked after maintained vehicle. I'll start to my right and work our way across the car. So here we do have our door locking mechanism with our full electric window control and child lock. We've got a uh, carbon fiber style plastic trimming here to go with the chrome in the dark colored uh, interior. It really stands out. We do have two keys with this car with our traction control button and our mirror controls just here. Headlight and indicator control on the right control arm. 
using the word control too much. And on the left arm, we do have our front and rear windscreen wipers. We've got our cruise control buttons just down here with our media volume here and our phone controls just here because this car does have Bluetooth. Really nice styled uh, steering wheel here, very easy to hold. Moving to the center of our car, we've got a nice chrome strip across the top here with our seatbelt indicator, tells you who is and isn't wearing seatbelt, parking sensor button and our clock. Just below that, we've got our radio, our media center. So this does have Bluetooth pairing, like I said. It's got a CD player just here in the top, as well as your volume control. You can save your presets, everything just along there. USB and auxiliary port just underneath. We do have our air conditioning control just here, and it all blends in really nicely, and it is very easy to reach. Just moving down from that, we've got our eco mode and sport mode with a 12 volt socket. Nice deep crevice down here to hold things, and the cup holder towards the front. Our automatic gear shifter is just here next to the handbrake, with another cup holder just further back from that. In here, we do have a nice big center console unit. Uh, it's very easy uh, to reach, nice and big, nice and deep, nice to hold things in, which is very good to see. And uh, I'm just gonna get my camera first now to pan around the interior of the car to show you the, the quality of this vehicle. This car has done 90,000 Ks, so I will quickly grab out the service books and touch on that for you. I should have probably pulled them out a second ago, uh, so I was ready, but that's all right. So looking through the service history, we've got the first service done at nine, then at 20, 30, 39, 56, 66, 6, 77, 87, and then we performed an intermediate service on it at 90,000 K. So the condition of this vehicle is something you'd have to see for yourself to truly understand. You don't, need, you don't need to spend any money on servicing with a full service history and practically brand new tires on the car. I really can't see a reason not to buy it. It's already, already um, equipped with a tow bar. So thanks for watching our walk around video of our 2013 RAV4 two wheel drive GX. If you have any questions, please give us a call on 9907 and one of our friendly staff will be happy to help with your inquiry.